Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm going to be installing a custom drive shaft from uh, Cans RC. It's uh, K A N I Z R C. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, but yeah, he custom makes these out of a uh, steel rod, and it's a it's a one piece unit. Goes from um, it goes from the cent uh, front diff to the rear diff. It bypasses the the cheap <laughs> Kyo Show stuff. I'm sorry, I, I like Kyo Show. It is a good car, but if you can see, let's see, let's bring you zoom you in real quick. So you can see what it's doing to my drive line. It's aluminum drive line that that they co. co uh, they call it upgrade, but I don't know if you can if you can see, but it just I don't have a battery or nothing hooked up, so I'm not gonna waste your time with that. But the the aluminum is so warped that it just it just <laughs> so it started putting a I mean it's it's almost halfway through. It's hard to tell in the camera, but it's it's warped pretty far. So I was afraid it was gonna um it was gonna break and then just start ripping my wires apart. So I haven't been running it for a while. So, and I, uh, this was uh, 30 bucks from him. Um, he does make, uh, he does make other drive lines for like uh, WL Toys. Um, and recently I saw him grab a um, Fortec 2.0 and he started making, um, uh, drive shafts for his car so he's probably going to test those out and see how they come out and this is like the version two or version three of this one because he made a short one that went from here to here but now he's made it through the whole this is going to go through the whole thing and put your uh um your spur gear through it too so we are going to need to take apart the whole car. And then it gives you some bearings and some stoppers, some pins. So it gives you all sorts of, of stuff to go with it to put the whole thing together. And he says it will work with Mod 1 gears and, and stock gears. So... So it gives you a bearing... Two pins, That's, uh, and then two collars. And uh, I talked to him a little bit on um, Instagram, and then uh, so he kind of told me how to um, how to put it together. So we're gonna test that out. We're gonna. And that's what we're gonna do right now, guys. All right. So. Um, Move you out a little bit. So we can take the car apart. So let's uh, blow this off. I guess I'll probably get my drill though. Oh. A little faster for us. But yeah, so I talked to him a little bit on to figure out how I did it because I thought when I bought it it was just that little it was the little part but he goes no this is the newer version so it was um, I'm sure the price will vary on shipment but it's around 30 bucks for it I think too bad I mean it's going to be way better than the aluminum one that's on there because <clears throat> once you hook up uh Once you hook up uh, brushless on there and put a you know 3s battery on there, it's 
a little bit much power for that plastic one the plastic drive uh, line that they put in there okay, so and I have a 37 tooth in there so it replaces this part too so we're gonna need to pull this all apart and figure out how to get all that back on there um, so we'll see. We're going to be a learning experience for both of all of us. <laughs> all right. So let's um, take the shocks off. get my little thing out before we get too far ahead. I try to keep them uh, somewhat close to where they belong. That's the rear end, that's the front end. And this is like the ending cover. I can probably put those in here, that's what we'll do. still see. Okay, there's that. There's that part. We'll just pull this whole thing out because see. Man, this thing's just wedged in there too now. So it's just a dog bone in here. Yeah, there you go. See? I mean, I don't know if you guys can, can tell how bent that thing is just in my hands. You can see a big old warp right in there. But this whole thing comes apart. Let's make sure we leave it here so we figure out know how it goes back together. Okay. Let's take all this off. He has uh, quite a few. Uh, Go check his videos if you're into these uh, Phaser MK2s. He's got quite a bit of videos that uh, fixes the front end and all the, the looseness up here. He does O-rings up in there, um, all sorts of stuff. So he does that with his uh, with these phasers, and then he does them with his. Uh, he got a couple custom builds for us. Uh, those WL toys. Just pops out like that. Yeah. So this is all goes to that. Oh. 
And you see those little ones there. You guys can still see what I'm doing here. Okay, and then this one comes off. Okay. And we'll have to figure out how that goes together. So we'll put this to the side and check that out. All right. All right. All right, guys, I'm back. I uh, had to go take care of some things so so here's how it is in the car okay oops so let's do make sure you guys can see this so i need to leave it up here um yeah that's zoomed in and here's all the parts he gives you so let's pull this off pull this out Pull this off. I'm not real sure. Oh, that one goes the other way. So we need to pull this clip off. I'm gonna readjust you guys. I know I'm gonna lose you. Okay. So there's just an E-clip right here. There's an E-clip right there, holds that on. Then you push this one down, which it doesn't want to come off of there. <laughs> and these are just plastic. Man, I can't believe how loose that thing is. You just kind of sat, no, it's probably sat on this thing, that's why, huh? Yeah, that's what it did, okay. Like, man, that was sitting on there loose. Okay, this was like that. And then, bottom there and I just uh, put it down and hit it down and it popped it up okay so it went like this I'm just trying to leave it in order to where I believe his newer version or he has another one that he's got the line cut for this to sit in for that ring to go back but that's why he gives you this other o-ring to lock it into place so I believe we need to go like this hmm maybe not That's what that's new O-rings for. That's what that's for now. All right? Okay. So this one fits nice and snug to where this one was still loose. Okay. And then we're going to go, instead of putting this clip in, we're going to put this on. And I will lock tight these once I get everything put together. I just got one on each side, which I will have to loosen up a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> and then to put this back on, Gonna be a, another pain in the butt, but that's the way it's got to be done. And you 
put the pin back in. So I'm hoping it's going. <laughs> and make sure you got lined up right. And then Right, and so that popped it back in. Um, man, I wonder. I think that's the biggest. So then you take this one and you put it up against it so it doesn't slide back and forth, okay? what we're gonna do but we're gonna leave it like that because we're still figuring things out we want to figure it out right um, and then this one goes on like so and this one goes on like this And then that would go on like that. And that would sit in there like that. Okay. So we still have to adjust it a little bit. But then these. Would go. I'll put it like this. here so the bearings wouldn't slide out okay see how the so you guys can see that or not see how the bearing sits in here if you don't have nothing pushing up against the bearing the bearing is just going to work its way out so like that on both sides so if you put that other brass bushing right up against it it won't work its way out it'll stay seated in there so everything's got to be adjusted kind of as you put it in there Everything but this one. I'm going to lock tight this one down. I can find my lock tight. Get my glasses so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so let's, let's pull this out. Okay, so that was a rough fit. <laughs> so now we know what we're doing. See so you know how this one has a it has a <clears throat> has a flat side here and a flat side here. So both sides are flat. If you can see that, hopefully you can see that. Okay, so you want to make sure each scrub screw is on. Each side you know, it doesn't look like he puts any on there for you so it's a little little dabble do ya Okay, I don't want to crank that one too hard yet. Okay, I don't want to make sure it don't move around, so make sure it's tight in there. Snug them up good. All right. Just let those sit for 24 hours, you know. Once this is all done, just leave it. That way it doesn't go nowhere. <clears throat> and I'm assuming the beveled edge would go to the inside of that. Because you don't want the whole thing sitting on the hole. Thing, right? That's a, that wouldn't make sense. 
so you wouldn't want a touching part of it. All right, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking, so, okay. So then let's put this one here like so. And this one's gonna go like this. If we pull those two pins out, put these two in here. That like that. I like that. Looks like it's coming together. Not too bad. Oops. So let's uh, bring the car over so we can set it in place when it's ready. You see that? Okay. Oh, no, we need a washer over here. Uh, sorry. Uh, I know there is a, there it is. This goes on here first. Then the pen. And he gives you extra pens. I don't know if his are stronger than what was in here or not, but. And he said, you, you, you can use uh, Mod 1 because this is a uh, 5 millimeter shaft, so. Let's put this in. Okay. Ah, oh, fell apart. It fell apart be easier if you took it all apart but you know okay he did say we might have to grind down a little bit here so let's see here like so right because what goes there this goes there right am I wrong <laughs> Okay, that's what he was talking about. Was he said you have to grind down a little bit for that ring to set. That I think that's what that is right in here. So you just have to grind down where these. Uh, these little pieces are right here. I'm just going to do it with a razor blade because not everybody has a Dremble. Dremel. So I'm just going to take a razor blade. I'm actually probably going to get a skip.
right, so that's what I'm gonna do to get that to fit on there. So, oops, you guys couldn't even see that. I'm just filing this down right here, okay? Right on the inside of this, that's what I'm thinking. because I can't even spin it because it's sitting on that. So. So let me file that down. I'm going to file that down right here. Let's see if you guys can see that a little better or not. This little edge right here. And this side right here. I'm going to file that down and um, get back and show you. So hang on. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, yeah, I just took my Dremel real quick. Took the small Xander and just right in there. Went, went back a little bit. You don't have to go much. Didn't take much, guys. And I was done. Simple. And this piece goes right on. Fits right on now. Everything spins nice and smooth. We've got one steel bar piece of cake okay so that's how you install that that was uh it was actually easier than i thought it was going to be with all the little parts that he gave me but i'm going to um throw a couple screws in here and then um make sure everything's back on there tight and then when i tighten these ones back up i'll get these ones lined up make sure you put a little Loctite on them. These don't have flat spots here, so yeah, it does. So it does have a flat spot on this side. So you can use that flat spot to line this one up. But I'm not sure if this one does or not either. Yeah, it does too. So they both have flat spots where you can put these grub screws on. There. So it'll be perfect. It'll hold it nice and tight, even if it loosens up a little bit. Oh, excuse me. Thirsty. Okay. So. Let me put. Since we know we have these in right. Right. You got. The gears are in. Gears are in there. I'm going to start putting. Um, some of these back together. Just so they don't come out on us. Don't forget these Kyosho, uh, yeah, these Kyosho uh, phasers, MK2, um, are plastic, so you will strip them if you use a, a wrench or gun like I am doing. <laughs> so, okay, let's grab these two little ones. And, most of these are all the same size. It's a couple long ones. They're all the same kind. Right. So. So if you can remember where they kind of went, you know. That's all you need. Let's get these in and lock these down so the if we pick it up, they're not gonna fall out. Okay, there we go. Now you can pick it up and do whatever you want with it. Okay, Let's see. shocks back together no I don't you guys don't need to see that so I just need to um, I'm gonna put this in here real quick just to 
get um, this should go down just like this, right? Yeah. I'm gonna make sure this uh, this is lined up, and get that lined up. And you can see the flat spots right here. Not sure you can see that or not. There's a flat spot right there. So I'm gonna take uh, one of the grub screws that he gave me. Put my glasses on because these things are tiny. <laughs> baggy went so we'll do a little bit more all right and then we just want to get it tight so that you make sure the the spur and the pinion are lined up a little dab Oh. Get that started. We can get her there. Okay. Then we'll spin it around to the other side. It's a flat spot here on this side. Which is kind of good. He did both sides like that. More Loctite. And these are just to keep the keep the keep the bearing from sliding sliding out, that's all. So and you're gonna always have a little bit of play. The same side with the other side okay but this one you can't really see because we locked it down already see there's the flat side there so leave the flat side up oh, and that's probably why he gave you a few extra of these <laughs> so I'll never be able to find that one again It's in the land of dirt on the garage floor. All right. Make sure that's forward as far as it can go. And tighten that one down. Yeah. Okay, that should be the other flat spot, right? 50-50. Okay, there you go, guys. <coughs> that is installed. And then, look how strong that is compared to that. I mean, that's what it did. It got down pretty far there. About halfway on that one. So, you know, you see how it just aluminum. I thought these were going to be a lot stronger when when I got it, but yeah, that was a, a waste of money, in my opinion. So, I mean, I guess it's supposed to help better than a plastic one, but yeah, this one's I'd pay the I'll pay the thirty dollars again if I ever get another one of these, definitely. So yeah, but check out his channel. Um, Can 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 Z R C. It's K A N I Z R C. K A N I Z R C. And I'll have links all down below and all that stuff um, for his Instagram. 
and his YouTube channel. And you can contact him through through there. I believe he used to have them on eBay, but I'm not sure now. So um, you'd have to ask him. But definitely, um, definitely check him out if you guys are interested. Um, then I'm going to put this all back together and uh, I'll come back with the finished product once you, because I'm sure you guys have seen me take it apart, figure out how to put it back together. Right? So, and then we'll do a final, final on it. All right, guys? So, uh, be back. All right, guys, I'm back. I uh, got it all buttoned up, shocks on, um, shafts in there, nice and tight. I put a battery in so you guys can see how smooth it is. I know I should have put one in the beginning to, for this thing, but God, if you can just, <laughs> you can see it's just so bent right in here. That's what made that, you know, so it's just, it was, trust me, it was bent. And they're all going to be like that. I can't imagine them being too straight. So I don't know if this one maybe got bent and in transit, but when I got it, it was it was never straight. So, and uh, I don't know if everybody else's is doing that, but I can't see this one ever doing that. It's a straight shot all the way across, and it doesn't. Uh, watch your ears; it's going to get loud. But you can see. no vibration on that whatsoever. So, I don't want to play with it too much. I still got the lock tight. I'm trying to dry up. Just wanted to show you guys uh Oops show you guys that that it's all buttoned up and ready to go now so get it back out on here i just have a 2s in here uh, this 3s i got it running on 3s all the time or most of the time now unless i'm out front playing around but yeah she still does about 62 we'll see he says uh i should get a little bit more speed out of this too so we're gonna test that again I'm gonna, i got 62 i think it was on this one because I got 63 on my Fortec on 3S. So we're gonna um, we're gonna test that out. Because now that's straight, I'm not getting that wobble no more. That was taking a lot of energy probably from it, at least a couple miles an hour, I would think. So that's what he was saying, at least a couple miles. So we'll try that and see how um, good we can get that. Then we'll try his little O-ring thing maybe. I do have a little bit of play, but it's not, it's not too bad. This car actually tracks pretty straight, so, which I'm, I'm good with. And I got some new tires, so I'm, we're going to burn these ones off and throw some new tires on here. So, let's see how good some Amazon cheapo ones are. I think they're 15 bucks for, 12 bucks for the tires and rims with foams, so. We're gonna try those. But yeah, it runs nice and smooth now too. Alright, so um there you go guys. Go hit him up. Go uh go check out his website. Like I said, he's got uh WL Toys, you know the one four four zero one has the drive lines for that. Um I'm not sure if he does the um one two four zero one nine those those ones yet or not so they hit them up though um and he's starting to work on the uh the Fortec, the drive lines from uh the the rear ones he was doing because so i had bent one already on mine on my Fortec, and i'm waffling on here guys but um this is the drive drive shaft that comes out from your axle your actually your drive axle and i have i bent it if you can see it right here right up here so uh, bends back so i don't know how well you guys can see that or not but yeah it was pretty bad so you get a pretty big wobble in it so he's making those for his and i know he just did them so 
he posted on Instagram um, that he had made a couple. So I'm probably going to be testing them out because he just got the car. So, um, but you can hit him up. All right. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please like, subscribe, and uh, y'all have a good day.